In order to flow portraits in your book, you will need to go to the page where you want to begin flowing portraits, and then click on the Flow Portraits button, or go to Portraits and choose Flow Portraits. Here you will have to choose whether you want to group people sorted by grade, by their teacher, or to make a separate flow containing only teachers, assistants, or staff. In this case, I'm going to choose to flow by grade. Now I will be presented with a list of available groups. If you click on a group, you will look on the right hand side and see how many students, teachers, and assistants are in each group. Choose the group you want to flow and press Next. Next, you will have to choose whether you want to put the teachers before, after, or to not flow them at all. You will have to make the same choice for the assistants, whether to put them before or after or to not flow them. Once you've made your choice, press Next. Here you will see a preview of the portrait flow on the left hand side, and you will choose all of the options about your flow on the right. Please pay attention up at the top to how many people are in your portrait group and to make sure that if you're only flowing on a single page that you have enough space allotted for all of them or if you're flowing on multiple pages that you're choosing the correct options so they flow across the pages you want. If you choose to flow only on a single page and you have a group that is too large to be flowed on that page, like this one here which has 108 students, when you flow the first, say, 30 people by going 5 rows and six columns. It will flow the first 30 people onto this page and then you will have to move onto the next page in order to flow the remaining people from that group. I'm going to choose to put names underneath. I will always use two name lines and I will choose to leave the text as black as I have a light background. Now that I've made these choices, I will press Next. If you decide that you don't like the portrait flow, you can click on it and either press the delete key on your keyboard or click the delete item button. Now when I go back into my portrait flow wizard, choose to sort by grade, and choose that same group, all 108 students are still not flowed. Now I will go back into flow, I will keep the options the same, I will choose to do 5 rows by six columns, and names underneath. However, I want to leave some space at the top for a title, so what I will do is I will click on a row of pictures to move everyone over. You'll notice that the pictures have not been lost, they just simply were moved over, and I have specified that there are going to be no portraits appearing in this space. Afterwards, I could go back and add a text box or candidates into that space. Since I am now happy with the flow, I will press Next to add it to the page.